Scenes of protest today by women outside the presidential palace in Kabul as they urge the country's new Taliban leadership to uphold women's rights in both work and education. One sign reading, a society in which women are not active is a dead society. And members of the Afghan all-girls robotics team fled the situation there in their home country and are now joining us tonight to tell us about part of their harrowing story of survival. Arroyo Mahbu, founder of the Afghan all-girls robotics team, and Aida Khairapur, one of its members, join me now. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thank you for having us. Roya, let's begin with you. When we spoke to you two weeks ago, you had been able to get the first group of girls from the robotics team to Doha, Qatar, uh, thanks to the government there. What's been happening with those girls now? And tell us, how are they doing? Well, thank you to the, again to the Qatar governments because of these uh, facilities and transfer the girls to Doha. Right now, they are they, they spent 10 days in quarantine, and now they have uh, released from quarantine, and now they go to their uh, geometry place that which is for the female. And Qatar government is offered them to get uh, some uh, classes, uh, I mean, especially for their high school, that they can finish their high schools here. So right now, they are preparing for them the facilities and uh, as well the uh, education that they need to pursue. Aida, it's been two weeks since you left your home uh, to go to Qatar. What's it been like and what are you and the other girls doing? Uh, so at first, hello to everyone. Um, I hope that all of you are fine and safe. So it's about two weeks that we left our families and country and we moved to Qatar to continue our education and study in the field that we want. Because in Afghanistan, we didn't have the facilities on that situation that the Taliban captured our province, especially uh, the capital of Afghanistan. And because of that, we moved to Qatar and now we are really happy and we feel really safe and uh, really happy that we can continue our education and achieve our dreams. Well, happy and safe are two beautiful things. We're so glad you feel that way, Ida. Have you, have you spoken to your friends back home, friends and family? Have they been telling you uh, what's going on there, what the situation is like since you left? Uh, you know, uh, we uh, were talking these days with um, our families and friends. Um, these days, the situation of Afghanistan is um, unprotectable somehow, is uncertain, because no one knows about the future of Afghanistan, that what will happen. And also, they are some kind of worry about their futures, especially my friends, my teammates that are still in Afghanistan. And they don't know that even they can go to school or not. But my family and friends are somehow happy for me because I'm one of the girls, one of the teenagers uh, that uh, can continue my education and achieve my dreams. And I'm not uh, like those people that are still in Afghanistan and uh, uh, they cannot achieve their dreams and uh, goals. And even they don't know anything about their future. Yeah, the world is watching and concerned about that, Ida, as well. Roya, there are still, as Ida points out, 10 other girls on the team who are trying to leave Afghanistan with, of course, your help. I want to know if you're optimistic that they will be able to leave, given the safety concerns and how things have changed on the ground since the U.S. withdrawal. Well, I mean, things... Uh, uh 10 of our other team members, they, uh, they are moving to Kabul that, uh, in, uh, to pursue their educations in Qatar. And we are hope that be able with the Qatar government supports, uh, we will be able to bring them here that they can uh, uh, pursue the dreams that they are looking for. Uh, but uh, as you see that the situation still is uncertain on the ground, I mean, uh, airport is closed, and then there are many people who are looking to leave Afghanistan, and they they are uh, actually desperate and scared, and they don't know what's going to happen. But uh, I have heard that uh, uh, airport is going to be open within the next couple of days, and those people who have the documentations and they have the visa, as the uh, Taliban leader says, they can leave the Afghanistan. So let's see that. Uh, what uh, would be the future for these people. But, uh, of course, uh, uh, people still has uh, this concern that what's going to happen. They are uh, concerned that they might be able to leave or they are not because uh, you, don't, you can't uh, uh, make sure that uh, if the promises that they give is, uh, is going to happen. 
All right, still uncertain at this time. Ida, you and the girls will be finishing high school there in Qatar. What do you want to do after you finish, and where do you want to go? So, you know, in Afghanistan, uh, we were in the last grade of our high school, but unfortunately, we had to move up, we had to leave Afghanistan and move to another country for further education, and we chose uh, Qatar for our education. And we are so happy that uh, have this opportunity to live in Qatar and continue, continue our education and finish our high school. But after that, I think that I want to go to a country and an university to continue on that field and uh, after that return back to my country and uh, just serve to my people and help, help my people and transfer the knowledge and the uh, things that I have learned before and teach to the generation of Afghanistan. Well, I don't, I don't have a crystal ball, but I feel like you are going to be very successful at whatever you do. Ida, with Thank so many so people— much. Of course. With so many people watching in this country and around the world, you and the robotics team have become a very important symbol for women and girls all around the world who want to do the same as you, just go to school and work. Your message, what do you want the world to know? So I have two messages for the, all the world. Like the first one is uh, for the new government of Afghanistan. You know, uh, the future of Afghanistan is unpredictable and uncertain. We don't know anything about the future of Afghanistan, but I'm still worried about my friends, my teammates that are still in Afghanistan. There are lots of dreams, lots of goals, and lots of uh, hopes in Afghanistan that I really hope that, and uh, I really hope that no one uh, stop them and let them to continue their education and achieve their goals and dreams in every kind of field that they want. And also another message that I have for the international communities that do not leave Afghanistan alone. Like, you know, and whatever happened in Afghanistan, most of the people just were watching that. But I hope that stop watching uh, this, this situation and help the people, help the children and the women that are still in Afghanistan with lots of hopes, with lots of dreams and goals. And do not let them alone uh, and do not let them in darkness. Help them to uh, have an Afghanistan as a country that is uh, bright and in um, top level of technology, knowledge, and uh, peace. Two very important messages. Thank you for bringing them to us, and best of luck to you, your studies, and your future. Roya Mahbu, founder of the so Afghan much. Girls Robotics Team, of course, Ida, and Ida Khairapour, one of its members. Thank you both so much for being with us tonight. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.